tickets are officially here. Now, I have heard rumors, just rumors, that there might be a golden ticket middle linebacker, Rob Gronkowski. And if that's the case, I truly will just have to hang it up and retire because these prestiges have been nuts. But hopefully we can get one of these guys on the squad soon. There's gold 99 Julius Peppers, Vincent Jackson, Brees Hall, and Darrington Evans. This is only the first wave. So there's just four in the game right now. Next week, there'll be a new wave. This is actually a perfect visual right here. Oh, dude, they went with like the end game galactic theme. It's growing on me. I'll say that. But let's talk business. It's Atlanta Falcon season at Wheel of Mutt, and it is the final full season of Wheel of Mutt. There will still be a grand finale. But right now, we're on the verge of the playoffs. Our record is 4-0. and oh. We've yet to lose a game. We've won some very close ones. And of course, we've got an insane team. Here's our top five players. We've got Gold 99 team captain Michael Vick, prestige Gold 99 Ray Lewis, prestige Gold 99 Jamar Chase, our brand new six foot seven, six foot eight, Harold Carmichael. He's tall. And of course, we got D'Angelo Hall on defense. Now, it's weird that they throw D'Angelo Hall in there because we got a few other Gold 99s, like Gold 99 prestige Jason Kelsey. Our monster running back Saquon has been amazing for us. There's Gold 99 prestige Nick Bosa, Gold 99 Jalen Ramsey. Last episode was a breeze, I won't lie. We got a quick rage quit and then another one in the second quarter. So I don't know if I'm gonna get so lucky today, but if we get the win, we clinch our spot in the playoffs. And that's what I'm looking for. Gentlemen, this is episode like 75. You know the damn rules by now. Let's get our wheels spin in, see how we can add to this squad. Maybe a golden ticket? <sighs> Although, although, Weekly Wildcard does now have Gold 99, so we're gonna get a nasty player here. The question is who and what position. We definitely need a left end, so I think we gotta go left end with this pick here. Left end's a 92 overall Jonah Williams. He's just not bringing the heat we need. If it wasn't him, we'd probably go right guard, maybe back up tight end or back up corner. So Weekly Wildcard's actually the promo that got me Gold 99 Nick Bosa, so huge shout out to this promo for coming in clutch. Let's see all the Gold 99s. There's a Johnny Hecker punter. There's Jack Campbell. Joe Burrow, don't need him. Jordan Davis, get Jordan Davis and Jalen Carter. Ooh, there's a gold 99 right guard, Quinn Miners. I love Miners. Whoa, no, don't, no. Trying to strike a chord and it's probably a minor. Okay, wait a minute. I know that I'd be saying stuff like that, but I don't be saying stuff like that on, oh. <laughs> There's actually two gold 99 right guards. There's Robert Hunt as well. There's Jalen Johnson, Geno Stone, Darren Waller, Stefan Diggs. I actually think I go right guard. Yeah, I'm gonna go right guard. All right, I'm just gonna be honest. Due to the fact that I said that out loud, I'm gonna buy Robert Hunt now and I'm just gonna distance myself from that scenario. Robert Hunt, baby! There's actually a really funny thing about this card, by the way. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this, but so Robert Hunt is the guy who had the insane diving touchdown that didn't count. You guys know the exact touchdown I'm talking about. For that reason, they gave him backyard touchdown Tight end, fast playmaker responses, and bonus high routes at tight end. It's completely useless, and we don't need it because we have master tactician on Vic. It's just hilarious that they give him that. Uh, the really amazing thing about this card is secure protector. We're zero AP. We love our secure protector. We also get screen protector. Dominant impact block wins on screen plays. I really don't run that many screens. Maybe I will now. Robert Hunt, gold 99, power right guard. I love that we're showing love to the offensive line. Theodore Hunt, Kelsey, Nelson, Trent Williams. It's an incredible offensive line. Being able to run the ball changes so much for me. It really does. All right, we get gold 99 Robert Hunt at right guard. We definitely still need a left end though. Ugh. We'll find some good uses for it, but it's not what we're looking for. So we get two 95s of our choice. I think we definitely one of them should be a backup tight end. We get a 95 backup tight end, and then let's pick up a 95 left end, and there'll be decent upgrades, but nothing crazy. All right, who are the 95 tight ends? There's Heath Miller, Gasicki, Brevin Jordan, Dallas Clark, and Joku. Brevin Jordan's actually kind of nasty, dude. Look at this, 95 speed. Obviously not a blocking guy, but he's very fast. For 90, that's gonna be the fastest 95 overall tight end we can find. We'll rock Brevin Jordan. At left end, we'll go Reggie White the minister of defense. I think he has a really good, like, unstoppable force ability that we can use, but I think my abilities on defense are just fine. He's just gonna be a better version of what we got in there right now. He does have really good stats. This is a really, really, really good card. I'm cool like that. Yeah, so you can use... Oh! Unstoppable force, aka Cruz. you get it on for five plays, and it charges up. Maybe I will use that. 
really and cool. I can throw no outsiders on it for one AP. It's a very good 95 overall right here. I think we will find room for that. All right, so Brevin Jordan is in. Third string tight end can now be 92 Luke Musgrave. And then defensively, Jonah Williams is out. And the Minister of Defense is in. And I just need to make some room on X-Factors. Right now, I have universal coverage on Jalen Ramsey. That's probably rarely getting activated, if at all. So let's just deactivate that, keep his abilities on. And we can activate Reggie White. Unstoppable Force, aka Cruz, with no outsiders. Hey, this is going great so far. We've got two 95s filling big positions. We've got a gold 95. Robert Hunt and our final wheel spin of today's episode is the wheel of height. I can take any single player in the NFL, but they must be this height. Ooh. We're gonna get a 6261. Hmm. I'm honestly trying to think what position is on average like 6'1. A lot of wide receivers are probably 6'1. I think we could get a monster wide receiver in for Alec Pierce, no? That might be the move here. Or maybe a backup for Saquon. Aaron Donald is 6'1, but I don't want to bring him back. We already had him. He is probably one of the best cards in this game, though. That dude is ridiculous. The best wide receiver in this game who is 6'1 is Puka Nakua. This is the team of the year limited MVP. And honestly, like, the other options were the 97 Justin Jefferson or 98 Ocho Cinco, but I like Puka Nakua so much. I think this is the move here. He also also just like, I swear this card has superpowers. He does not drop shit. I'm gonna give him matchup nightmare for free. He does get deep elite, which is such a good ability, but I don't have the AP for it. So we're just gonna rock matchup nightmare. Call it a day. All right, before I forget, let me make sure to do the challenge wheel right now. Cause I don't, I've been, I've been bad about it recently. I want to make sure I get it done before I move anywhere. Oh, our challenge wheel is a I'm really glad I spun it right now, actually, because I don't have a backup quarterback in right now. My, my current quarterback is Michael Vick, no one behind him. Uh, this is Wheel of Mutt, so I'm allowed to put in any silver. Tanner McKee or Tyson Bajan? I'm going Tyson Bajan. He took some decent snaps this year for the Bears, right? So we need a touchdown with Tyson Bajan. Our new wide receiver group is Jamar Nakua Harold Carmichael. Gotta make sure we get these abilities activated. So today we've added matchup Nightmare Puka Nakua, as well as Robert Hunt with Screen Protector, Secure Protector. And then, of course, defensively we've got the minister of defense and of course Brevin Jordan can't forget about him all right Tyson Bajan needs a touchdown we need a win to head to the playoffs let's go get all of them Cooper Cup the sun god and Aqib Tlaib Vic Ray Chase I have very much enjoyed Falcon season. Falcon season has been fun, man. I like the jerseys. I like the stadium. I also like this team's odds in this upcoming season. I think Kirk Cousins is actually super solid. And I'm not just saying that because he was Michigan State. I don't place a lot of futures bets, but I think I might take Falcons over on wins this season. We'll see, but we got to lock into this game right now. Let's see what our opponent comes out in. Starts with a rifle to the Big Yeti. Knocked out by Derwin James. Gosh, those knockout abilities are obnoxious this year. I think this is going to be a pretty even match for us. Big rifle. Great throw to Big Yeti that time. He is zooming. I'm trying to figure out what his lineup is, but he's snapping that ball so fast. So he's got Bo Jackson quarterback, Hot Rod Master set feet lead. Tooney Thomas Linderbaum. Lots of secure protectors. Oh, but we're out here on this. Oh, not quite. Maybe just a run play. Nope. I do not want to be on Carter right now, but I am. Ooh. First pass finally slowed him down a little bit. Zero to zero right now. Okay, he'll just take the check down to the Sun God. Gets hammered by Calvin Johnson. Cover nine, show two. I think this is RPO. I don't know if I can stop it. I've got to float with Megatron. Oh, it's not RPO. Oh, Dante Hall started going for the quarterback when he was in coverage. That might have been an interception if he hadn't done that. So D'Angelo Hall was covering him, but I hit right stick to send the nearest guy to the quarterback. I thought it was going to send a linebacker, but it sent D'Angelo. He gets a quick touchdown on a very effective offense. We're going to have to play perfect here. And he's onside kick chasing. Come on, bro. Hey, it was a great touchdown. I was just showing you love. Those are scary. I'm not going to lie, man. I got to be careful. Okay, first and 10. I'm going to start out slow. We've got secure protectors so we can run the football. Run that back. I have secure protector on Jason Kelsey. How on earth did he just get bulldozed? Did he just get bulldozed just because? Yeah, I guess secure protector doesn't guarantee it, right? All right, I'm going to throw one in here to Brevin Jordan, and he's going to get it knocked out. Third and 13. Third and 13. And I just got insta screamered. This is ridiculous. I can't do anything. Brian Burns just ran through my offensive line. I honestly kind of need Carmichael. Got him. 
Keep it together, Matt. Keep it together. Keep it together. And, oh, I'm about to lose my cool. I'm gonna lose this game, and I'm gonna lose it fast if I lose my cool right now. I gotta keep it together. That's some horse shit. Uh, what on fucking earth is that? Give me the fucking ball. Oh, my God. It's got an escape route that's kind of... Oh! I mean, are you fucking kidding me? What is going on? Oh! That's a fucking TFL! <laughs> I hammered him in the backfield and he bounced. I'm gonna freak out! I'm gonna freak out. I'm really gonna freak out. This is gonna be so bad. He might run the ball again. He just runs it to the left side. Yep. This is fucking insanity. What the fuck? That's off of a Ray Lewis Avalanche Enforcer Supreme hit that he bounced. It's 14-0. Holy shit, boys. Don't ever load up Madden this late in the season. Just don't do it. Six yards out of Saquon on that RPO. I need to score as fast as humanly possible so that I can just like figure out what's going on and settle down. Cause at this rate, dude, I'm gonna lose so fast. Technically, technically, oh shit. Technically, I, I should have downed that at the one and subbed in Tyson Bajan. We're down by 14, now seven. So not, not the time to be getting fancy. I need him to make a mistake or I can't win this game. He's up by seven already. He wants to check down. Oh, big hits, big hits. Or a fumble, because he's running so much no huddle that these dudes gotta be getting gas. Definitely could still be a run. Oh, Avalanche! It's an Avalanche hit stick! Oh my god, that was a Derwin James Avalanche hit stick that he, I don't know. It's a little handoff to Dickerson. Takes nine yards. It's about time you went outside, buddy! Cause that's what you get! That is some fucking karma. You could not get karma to any harder than that right there. Literally impossible to find karma harder than that right there. Second and inches. Who are we? All right, this play has been really solid for us so far. This stretch. It doesn't look like he has the facilities to stop it. So we're gonna have to take advantage of anything we can get cause wow, it was scary that first possession. Keeps thinking it's left side, so let's go right side with one of these. Look at Saquon. Hey, we got Energizer on Saquon now, so he's got the stamina. He's got the stamina we need. And for some reason, this defense he's running cannot stop iPhone. I don't know why he can't stop this. Oh my God, Saquon. I'm so glad we put on Energizer. He would be cooked right now. Seven rushes, 63 and a tutty for Saquon. I gotta keep him on his toes. Vic with a broken tackle. You're such a monster, man. 15 yards up the middle. I'm going to try inside zone. I don't know how I feel about it, but I want to try it. Money. Very solid. Third and goal now from the four. Got to get in the end zone here. Are you freaking out of your fucking mind? Oh, my God. He animates like a psychopath. That's the second time he did that. Oh. That's so nasty. Michael Vick bails me out once again. Look at this. Hey, I can, we got to see that one more time. Literally with any other quarterback, you get tackled here. I just got a... Ah! Wait a minute. He just got a block kick animation, but he didn't dive. He got a block kick animation. Holy shit. Did you see that? Dude, there's so much going on right now, but oh my goodness, boys. It was 14 to zero. It was 14 to zero. That's what you get for running QB sneak on second and inches, buddy. It's, it is what you get. Whips a quick one to the sun god. Let's see if he stays no huddle. So he's not, yes, because he's not going to be in no huddle because he needs a clock to move and he knows how he can chunk yards. Quick RPO to Dickerson, grabbed by the minister of defense. Nice job, Reggie. Bloody. I want to sack him. Sending a lot of blitzers and he's throwing a pick. Blocked by Ray Lewis. What are you doing? Let's go. 40 seconds on the clock to put up points. Massive interception. Oh my God, never give up, boys. Never give up. It was 14 to zero. First and 10. Hand off up the middle. We are running the ball so effortlessly. Saquon is in. Unbelievable. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have done that, by the way. I need to take that down at the one and burn the clock and then summon Beige and QB Sneak again. That was really dumb, really fast. Dude, 34 seconds and three timeouts of Madden. This guy's got infinite time. Wow. Look at the fucking turnaround. Look at the turnaround. I'm, I'm doing this for all Atlanta Falcons fans. All right, you're on the other side of history now. All right, first and 10. This looks like it's going to be to Dickerson unless he's got corner routes. 
Oh, that's not how I thought that was going to Dickerson, but that's pretty wild. All right, best case scenario is sacking him because that'll keep the clock ticking and he doesn't get all these positive yards. Ooh, 26 seconds left, second and 10. He'll get at least a field goal out of this if he doesn't turn it over. And that's why it was stupid for me to run that in with Saquon. I should have managed that clock a lot better. I don't like that throw. What are you doing? What are you doing? Megatron to the one, exactly what I needed. Let's get Tyson Bajan's bum ass in here. No, what if I fumble on the QB sneak? Megatron linebacker is too damn tall. He's gonna pinch his D-line if he's smart, or he's just gonna hand this to me. Challenge wheel complete, two possession lead, 15 seconds on the clock, two timeouts. He technically can still score. Oh my God, how this game crumbled. 40 bomb alert. Dude, can you believe that I had zero points in the first quarter? I have scored 28 in the second quarter. Something similar here. Oh, that day is over. That's not it. Jesse Bates and Derwin are down there. That's another interception. The boys are cooking! They are absolutely cooking! 28 to 14, a full bar of momentum. I think some of the Falcons fans had left the stadium after the first quarter. They've seen enough. Hey, send the security out there. Don't let them back in. No readmission, buddy. If you weren't with us at my worst, you can't suck my balls at my best. We know he's gonna onside. Ooh, I kind of forgot about this. These onsides are so good. Oh no, we got that. Good, Puka. I, yo, we added Puka Nakua to be a hands team monster, I guess. Because I don't think he's done much today. Well, the good news about him doing these onside kicks is he's already placed me in field goal range. So our, the name of the game right now is we're just we're just a game manager at this point, as Cam Newton would say. This is going to be an excellent stretch to the left. There's no way he can stop this. And yeah, not with that set right there. Oh, my God, Saquon. Have my babies. Energizer Saquon and a big push from Brevin Jordan. Give me those extras. 12. Does Saquon average 10 yards per carry on this season of Wheel of Mutt? Can we be real? Uh, I'm going to pass here, actually. I'm looking for the scramble. I have trust. I can't, I can't fumble. The script writers were in their shit, dude. I was tweaking balls at 14 out. I, didn't, I did not want to play. Take some clock off. Saquon up the middle. Boing! 34-14. I'll go for two here. I'm gonna max protect. I actually, like, I want to use my players that haven't gotten any fucking reps. Let's give Jamar Chase one, right? Damn, that was insane, dude. All right, 34 to 14. One more touchdown takes us to 40 bomb land. Got a 20 point lead with eight minutes of football left. He's got to be no huddle the whole time. We need the ball to be caught in bounds. We need short gains. We cannot let him just chunk, 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 chunk. It's going to make this very hard. And that's, that's a chunk. Oh, And he, Malik Hooker, I knew you were a bum! I've always known you're a bum! I literally just picked him up from Malik Hooker, then I got hit stuck, and he got the ball back. Get me out of here. Suck me. No women allowed. Oh! Yeah! You He was calling his buddies, telling them he was beating MMG on Xbox right now. Woo! You like that? That was my favorite game of the season. I know it wasn't that close, technically. That was my favorite game of the season. Dominant, lethal run game. That, and that was the name of the game. Excellent defense after a 14-point deficit, and then dominant run game. I, I sucked in the air that game. I couldn't throw for shit. I wonder even what my stat line was. I wonder what I passed for, if anything. I might have had no passing yards, and we scored 34 points. Boys, that was an amazing wheel of mud. I know what you're saying. 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 You're saying that should be a 40 bomb. Like, dude, I'm smacking his wiener, little wiener around, sucking it. You know what I'm talking about. I should have had this. I'm thinking that maybe I'll open this for the grand finale. That's kind of starting to be my thought. Because, dude, honestly, if I if I open this for this team, how can I even improve it? I would literally have to pull, like, a Brees Hall and then get a golden ticket. Like, there's so few ways to improve. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to say we earned it and we open it for the grand finale. I hope you boys are with me. That was an insane episode. That was so much fun. I love you guys. Big dog.
dub. I guess we did get our wait, 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 wait. Let me slow down. Let me slow down. We we did complete our challenge wheel. So we can open an infinite flux. I mean, there are golden tickets in pack two. I literally would have to pull a gold 99 right here for this to be worth it. Like, that's actually a sick pull on so many wheel of butts. A 95 Zach Bond would be a gnarly pull. Doesn't do shit for me right now. All right, boys. Now I can say it. Amazing episode. I love you. I'll see you guys in the next one. The first round of the playoffs, the wild card. Peace out, boys.